Was the moon landing faked? Controversial Nibiru author David Mead weighs in on NASA Apollo 11 hoax. The controversial author has addressed long-held conspiracy theories that NASA never actually landed on the moon. The Apollo 11 moon landing in 1969 has been the subject of one of the fiercest conspiracy theories in history. Many people believe that the moon landing was faked and astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin never actually set foot on the lunar surface. Despite scientific evidence and repeated visits to the moon, some people still refuse to believe that humankind has visited another celestial body. Now controversial author David Mead has added his voice to the crowd. Mead, famous for proclaiming the apocalypse due to collision with a mysterious planet called Nibiru, reckons that a radiation zone above the Earth prevented NASA from reaching the Moon. Radiation Zone The radiation zone exists, it's called the Van Allen Radiation Belt, and it's something NASA had to consider during the Apollo missions. But that doesn't sway Mr. Meade. Guess what? Without nuclear protection, it appears that a biologic life form such as a human cannot pass through these belts, he told the Express. That is, of course, unless there are six feet of lead to shield from the radiation. The Apollo spacecraft had no such shielding. Is this the most simple way to prove that no missions went through the Van Allen Belt? The Van Allen Belt NASA has previously addressed the presence of the Van Allen Belt, which exists hundreds of miles from the surface of the Earth. It's well beyond the altitude of the International Space Station but it does interfere with moon missions. The density of the Van Allen belts is well known, from sending uncrewed probes through them, and there are hot spots you can definitely avoid, explained Gillian Scudder, an assistant professor in physics and astronomy. In particular, the innermost belt is a rather tightly defined region, and it was possible to stay out of it for the trip to the moon, she told Forbes. The second belt is much larger, and harder to avoid, but there are still denser regions to avoid. For the Apollo trips, we wanted to send the astronauts through a sparse region of the belts, and to try and get through them quickly. This was necessary in any case, the crafts had to make it to the moon in a reasonable amount of time and the shorter the trip, the less exposure to all sorts of radiation the astronauts would get. The Conspiracy Theories It's not just David Mead trying to poke holes in NASA's famous moon landings, plenty of other conspiracy theorists have had a go as well over the years. A YouTube channel, named UFO Mania, The Truth Is Out There has uploaded video which includes a blown-up image of U.S. astronaut John Young collecting lunar samples on the moon's surface. The clip, entitled Lunar Base revealed in Apollo image racked up 21,000 views just one day after it was posted to YouTube. It is claimed the image shows a spaceship and extra personnel on the moon fueling preceding theories the NASA moon landings were a hoax. Some viewers appeared convinced by the evidence put forward by theorists. One comment read, that's because the U.S. never went to the moon. Another said, most of the moon landing pictures were taken from Earth. While one remark published under the video said, the moon landings were a hoax. Apollo 16 was the 10th man mission of the United States Apollo space program and the fifth to land on the moon. The crew. John Young, Charles Duke Jr., and Ken Mattingly, launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida on April 16, 1972 with the mission lasting 11 days, 1 hour and 51 minutes. Were the moon landing photos faked? Other popular conspiracy theories are that the photographs of the moon missions were actually taken on elaborate movie sets crafted in Hollywood. A photo from the Apollo 17 mission has come in for criticism with some suggesting that it shows a man walking around on the lunar surface without a space suit on. YouTube user StreetCap1 posted footage of the photo which zooms in on the reflection of one of the astronauts' visors and supposedly shows a man standing around in a waistcoat. He suggests the figure, which he says is a man with long hair that fits in with the style for men in 70s when Apollo 17 supposedly landed on the moon on December 7, 1972. 
Conspiracy theorists are likely to seize on the video as proof that NASA's Apollo 17 was staged on a film set. The U.S. was under massive pressure to prove they could pip Russia to the post in its number of missions to the moon in the Cold War. And their desperation to beat them has fueled suspicions for nearly five decades that all their missions were faked. The proof, how NASA broadcast the landing and where you can see photos of the moon. Despite the accusations, NASA did broadcast the landings as they happened to an audience of millions around the world. They did this by putting a special antenna on the lunar module that would be capable of broadcasting footage 384,400 kilometers back to Earth. As popular science explains, to free up space for a television downlink from the lunar module, NASA removed the ranging code and changed the modulation from phase to frequency. This freed up 700 kilohertz of bandwidth for a television downlink on the USB signal. The problem was that this wasn't enough bandwidth for the standard video camera of the day that transmitted 525 scan lines of data at 30 frames per second at 5 MHz. Instead, NASA would need a slow scan camera optimized for a smaller format, 320 scan lines of data at 10 frames per second that could be transmitted at just 500 kHz. What's more? The space agency has recently made 8,000 jaw-dropping photos from the Apollo missions available for the public to browse by posting them online.